What's going on guys? 8BigLit79 here. And today, I'm going to be opening up some mail, gifts from some people, and uh, some stuff I ordered, and go over a few pickups that I wanted to highlight. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Gaming Off The Grid here, and you are watching 8-Bit Glitch 79. Alright, first let's go through the mail. Um, let's see here, we got, first thing we got here, we got from Lit Gaming 999 uh, He was doing a pickups video live stream, and he got a bundle, PS2 bundle, and he had some games he didn't need and want and stuff, and he said if anybody wanted something to, to hit him up, and so I did, and he sent it to me, so it was really cool of him to do. If you're not following Lit Gaming, I have a link down in the description. Check it out. He streams a lot. He streams a lot out of like a 360 uh, lately. And uh, I picked up a couple of titles because of his stream. One of them recently was the Conan game on the 360. It looked very interesting. So, yeah. That's not my pickups. But, all right. Here it is. Yep. Uh, Battlefront 2. The PlayStation 2. I didn't have this, believe it or not. So, yeah. Complete. Wicked awesome. This is great. I'm a big Star Wars fan. Um, I'd show you my Star Wars shelf over here, but um, that's for the gaming tour, which will be coming soon. But yeah, I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I'm trying to collect as many of the games that I can. And um, this, is, the Battlefront games are really great, except for the last one. Uh, I don't even have that one. The, uh, on a PlayStation 4 or whatever because uh, the whole microtransaction stuff. Don't really get into that. So thanks again, Lit Gaming. I appreciate it. So the next thing here is from Russ Lyman. Um, he, if you don't know Russ Lyman, you must be living under a rock or something because uh, he's one of the greatest YouTubers ever. He does great streams and he does uh, great DIY stuff with controllers and stuff. He inspired me to create one for my wife a couple of years ago for Christmas for Final Fantasy, one of her favorite game of all time. And uh, I'm working on another one uh, right now. I'm in the middle of it, so I might have a video up about that. But he definitely inspires me to try to be kind of creative. So um, he just did a quarantine uh, music video. Um, I'll have a link to it down below with his old bandmates and it's kind of like the Goldfinger been doing and some other bands and stuff so it was really cool and he said he had a whole like box crate whatever of their band CD that, that still haven't sold and stuff so if we wanted one to hit him up so I did and he sent it out to me so and I, I asked him to uh, autograph it so let's see if he did and stuff. Uh, let's see. Nice. Cool. It's still sealed, so you must not have autographed it, but after all this quarantine stuff, I'm sure we'll be hitting, hanging out again and stuff, so I'll have them do it then, but here we go. That's Russ's band here. Picture of the band in the back. The Russ right there with the hat. So yeah, definitely check out these guys. Uh, I think this stuff's like on iTunes and all other kind of streaming and downloading places and stuff. So check them out. They're very 90s, um, like Goldfinger, punk, Punky, Sky. I don't know what you want to call it. I, I don't follow that kind of music religiously. I like it, but um, yeah. So this is going to be cool. I'll be blasting this for sure. Oh, I should say it's Saturday Matinee is the name of their band. There you go. All right. I'm a horrible promoter. You're fired. Um, all right. So the next thing I got in the mail was from the guys, Wes and Robert from Gaming Off The Grid. They sent me something that I was not even expecting. I went out to get the mail one day and I go, what's this to 8-Bit Glitch? And Gaming off the grid. So I'm like, that is sweet. So again, if you're not following Gaming Off the Grid, you must be under that same rock for not following Russ Lyman. Because there are a couple great YouTubers talk about gaming, beer, 
good stuff, man. So definitely check them out if you haven't already. Most of my followers probably already do. So check it out. The link will be down in the description, of course. So I don't know what they sent me, so let's find out. Yes, no way. Awesome. Again, they were thinning out a, their Wii collection at one point, and I think they had this on the list or something. I don't know. Oh, we talked about it. I might have mentioned it in a comment, actually, and they went and just sent it to me. This is awesome. It's Star Wars The Complete Saga on the Wii. I mentioned that this is the one game I didn't have in the Star Wars games that I, I want to play. This is awesome. I'm a huge, like I just mentioned, a Star Wars fan. So this is, this is incredible. This is awesome. Thank you, Robert and Wes. This is, this is going in the Wii ASAP for sure. That is wicked awesome. You guys are great. Moving on. Let's see. Um, this is something I ordered. I don't even remember what it is. Let's just open it up. <sighs> Might not even be game related. Who knows? It might be something I'd be a little embarrassed about. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah, it's that cream. I can finally clear up that uh, that rash. No, <laughs> this is actually um, a detailing pen for PCB board boards. It's something you can use to help clean up like the pins on games and stuff. If you got really bad rusted ones, you can use this pen and kind of clean it up. That's like for drastic measures. So I just picked one up to have on hand. I don't really need it at this point, but I figured I saw one in, on sale on Amazon. So I grabbed it. Nothing too exciting. Um, before I get to the pickups, Let's open up one more box here. I know what this is. All right. That was exciting, I'm sure. Oh, yes. All right. So, just get this out of the way. This is just a Bluetooth uh, receiver for my PC because I have a PC that doesn't have Bluetooth and I um, want to hook a dolphin bar up to do some arcade light gun games with a Wii remote so I needed a Bluetooth receiver to be able to connect to that so no biggie that's not a big deal but this is here so I follow a channel called Mad Little Pixel um, he does a lot of stuff with uh, Raspberry Pis and game controller reviews and just game news game stuff whatever if you haven't checked him out he streams too so mad little pixel i'll have that down in the he's a bigger youtuber um i'll have that down in the description but on his facebook page he's always posting like when he sees like deals or something out on the uh, old interwebs and uh, amazon was having a special and it didn't last long but i was able to nab it and usually i miss out on these things but uh they were selling the neo geo mini international model for $29.99 and it usually is like a hundred or something like that so yeah so when this came out I wasn't that excited about it uh, I like the Neo Geo games and stuff but uh, it just I have no big nostalgia for Neo Geo so this was kind of like oh that's cool but and eh, not like the NES Mini or the Super NES Mini or the Genesis PlayStation and and all those but and the turbo graphics um it's a little bit more exciting than this to me with the turbo graphics but i mean for 30 bucks i had to jump on it and add it to the mini collection so maybe look forward to an unboxing of this i'll give you a quick little preview it's like a little arcade machine these are the games that are on it if you want to pause it or whatever i'm not going to read them off there so yeah cool and then uh course it doesn't come with any controllers because that is a controller but they have ports to plug in controllers so I had to pick up they were on sale too I picked up this one here for it so yeah maybe uh, a near future unboxing and test of that so that was something I bought um, yeah so some quick 
I'm going to run through some quick pickups here. Uh, I know we're all in the lockdown quarantine um, situation here. Um, so trying to make the best of it. And I know there's a lot of local businesses and stuff that are struggling. So the virtual store that I like to um, patronize, patronize? I don't want to patronize them. Um, you know what I mean. To be a patron of. Uh, I wanted to help them out during this like situation. So they were doing curbside pickup. And so I said, well, let me order some stuff. So what do you do is uh, you, I Facebook messaged them and gave them a list of some stuff. Do you have this? Do you have that? Do you have this? And then he ended up sending me like complete pictures of all his NES games, all his Sega CD games, stuff I was asking so that I could just zoom in and look around, kind of shop on my phone. Um, so that was really cool. So um, the first thing I asked if he had, which was I was on a Discord chat with uh, Video Games Dust Sleeve and uh, Bones06. If you're not following Bones, he's got an amazing collection. Link down below for that. Um, and if you don't know Video Games Dust Sleeve, he makes custom dust sleeves. Um, I have one you can order. And all the other fellow YouTubers have one. And you can get specific games made. Uh, dust sleeves. It's really cool. I'll have links and stuff like that on the screen here or down in the description of how to contact him. But uh, we were talking one night because uh, Bones is going for a complete N64 collection and he's getting all the sleeves custom made by uh, Video Games Dust Sleeve. And we were chatting and he said, Oh my god, there's a game I don't have and it's called Star Soldier. And I was like, Really? And I looked it up right there and I was like, That's amazing. I'm going to pick that up. So he happened to have a copy down at State Line Video Games. So I picked it up and beat it that that night or the next night. I already beat it um, on one difficulty. Uh, it's a fun shooter for an N64. Um, I, I, I kind of recommend it. If you like shoot 'em ups, uh, if you're not into shoot 'em ups, you could skip it. It's not an expensive game or anything, but uh, yeah, if you like shoot 'em ups, I, I say definitely give it a shot because it's not like there's a lot on the N64. So give that one a try, guys. Um, I also got uh, a couple NES games from uh, just a cheap uh, Rescue the Embassy mission. It's one I didn't have, it was like five bucks. So I said, Yeah, throw that in, I'll take that. And he included the sleeve, which was cool. Um, and then this is a game I was hoping to get at Midwest Gaming Classic, which obviously was canceled this year. So he had a copy of it, and it was for a price I was willing to pay for, and it was helping him out, you know, to keep him in business and stuff. So I got Monster in a Pocket Konami game. I remember seeing, uh, I think Captain did it, and J Love did it back during October. And I was like, that looks like a fun, fun platforming action game. So. Yeah, I wanted to add that to the collection, so it's a nice clean copy, sleeve, why not, right? Jump on it. So, um, and then I also got, um, uh, I got something else I'm not including in this pickup, it was a big purchase, um, because I'm working on a video, slowly, uh, of an unboxing and, and kind of a review of it, in, in a sense, so I don't want to say anything about it, but it um, involves Sega Genesis and Sega CD and stuff. So um, I wanted to beef up my Sega CD collection and he didn't have a lot of Sega CDs and nothing I really wanted and stuff, but he did have NBA Jam on the Sega CD. So I snagged that and this case is flawless. I mean, it's got the foam, everything. This is a beautiful shape. So I snagged that up, it was cheap, why not? And then the last thing I got from that order was uh, I was gonna wait till this went down in price kind of a thing, but you know, I was like, you know what? Why, why not just get it now and I'll help him out and stuff and I haven't yet played it But I hope to soon here and that's Resident Evil 3 remake um, I've been hearing a lot of great things about the resistance game that comes with this the online game um, And I might try that out before I even play the uh, regular game but uh, yeah, uh, Resident Evil 3, the remake. Um, uh, a couple of things I got before, oh, yeah, before I, the whole lockdown really came official and GameStop like closed their doors, 
and started doing the curb side thing. I was there the Saturday before they started doing that. And I went in to get my kids, which I didn't include in the pickup, but they wanted the Pokemon DX dungeon games. So I, I got went to get that for them, and I said, well, you know what, I'm gonna pick up the new, the new Doom Eternal, which I've only played a, a little bit of. I gotta get into this uh, a little bit more, but I picked that up. But while I was there, I found a game I've been looking and searching for, and it's been hard to find, and they had a used copy of it, and they actually had it in. Sometimes they have a case, but no CD. I don't understand that, but uh, Terminator Resistance on the PS4. This game looked absolutely amazing, and I can't wait to get into this one. Um, so this might be my next PS4 game. Um, we'll get into now that I got Streets of Rage, which was a digital pickup. Uh, I've beaten that a few times already, so I don't think I'm going to move on to this next, because I've been desperately wanting to play that. Um, I picked this up as a family, uh, I don't know, family thing play uh, Overcooked and Overcooked 2. Uh, I watched some gameplay of this. This is something that I uh, always passed over. I was like, oh, I'm not going to play something like that. And like, But then I was watching some people play it, and they were going crazy, man. It's definitely not a one-player game. You definitely need a few good people for this game. It's like teamwork, trying to cook the dishes, uh, the meals, and get the, dish the dishes out, and and it's just chaotic. It's a mess. The way they design the, the, the levels and how you have to maneuver around and work together to meet the, uh, the goals. It's, it's, I highly recommend this. If you like party games, these, these are really good. Um, I highly, highly recommend you try this out. Um, I think this is out on the other systems too, not just Switch. Um, let's see. Oh. Uh, Something else I got, I ordered this almost a year ago, and it finally came in, and that was from, um, what is this, Strictly Limited, and that is uh, Bubble Bobble for Friends on the Switch. Um, you know, it comes with a little postcard thing they always give you, uh, I'll get my finger out of the way, and uh, it came with this acrylic piece, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but... Yeah, I mean, it didn't cost me anything extra. It was all in the same price. Um, but yeah, this is fun. Um, I think I'm about halfway through this right now. And I'm a big Bubble Bobble fan. You probably wouldn't guess that from looking at me or you know, some of the stuff I play. But Bubble Bobble is very nostalgic to me because it's one of the arcade games in the local pizza shop in my town when I grew up. They had for a while, and I played the hell out of that. And I just love the colors. I love the the idea of the bubbles and trapping the monsters. And, and that song that just repeats. It, somebody might think it's annoying, but I find it completely soothing and relaxing. That... I'm not going to sing it for you. But yeah, um, I'm a huge Bubble Bobble fan. So when I saw this, I, I knew I had to grab it. And they did a great job of re imagining Bubble Bobble and, and the level designs and stuff. So if you, if you love Bubble Bobble and you haven't tried this, go ahead, get the digital or something. Just give it a try. It's really, really fun. Um, stuff's falling over. Uh, here's something I got. Um, I played the ROM of this and uh, I absolutely loved it. And then I saw on eBay a reproduction card of it or something. And it was really cheap. And so I bought it. And I was playing it the other night. And it's just a fantastic game. If you can find a way to play this, either order the official card. Which I know, I didn't do that. But I got a repro. But uh, any way you can play this, do it. It's Xeno Crisis on the Genesis. Now I ordered this for the Switch from... Um, Strictly limited, I think. One of the it's not it's not um, it's not limited run. I think it was strictly limited. They they, they have a, a Switch version of this um, and maybe a PS4. But I ordered it. Um, obviously, it's not here yet. I don't know how long those take and stuff. But uh, they had this on the have this in the Genesis, so I grabbed it. It was only like twenty bucks or something. 
and I thought that'd be cool to play. It's, it's see, it's not even in there because I've been playing it. But yeah, Xeno Crisis, the twin stick shooter. It's very interesting how you play a twin stick shooter on the on the Genesis with a six button controller. You definitely want a six button controller because the buttons over here determine which way you aim. Up, down, left, and right, while the D-pad moves you around, and then you have a roll and then a grenade button. So it's it, it gets crazy. It gets you gotta get a little used to the controls, but it's a fun fun game. And uh, yeah, check it out. Um, and then my last pickup, I'm gonna point. Well, not my last pickup, but I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, this last thing that I got was um, if you're not following Nefarious West. Uh, he just did it. You should. Again, you're living under a rock. Follow Nefarious West. Um, he just did a kind of a playthrough how to beat video on uh, this game. And it's one I've been, it's been on my list to get and I just haven't pulled the trigger. But then when I saw that, I was like, damn, I gotta try that. And kind of use his video as a guide. So I haven't yet done it, but uh, I got Silver Surfer. For the NES. I eBayed this one. Um, yeah, so I mean, this has been on my list to get. I just haven't pulled the trigger, but seeing Nefarious West pull that off, uh, he did a whole no death run of it. I, I was like, damn, I gotta get it now. I gotta get it. So, yeah, that's those pickups. Now, that was gonna be it, but tonight, uh, my neighbor across the street actually posted on Facebook an Xbox 360 console and some games for sale and my Xbox 360 is like the cheap one it's like no Wi-Fi it does have HDMI actually um, it's only got the 60 gig hard drive and it's like, like long gray snaps on the top hard drive uh, it's it's the old kind of one so I've always wanted to upgrade it to one with a bigger hard drive and a more newer model so he had this, which is the Xbox 360S with a 250 gig hard drive. And this thing is minty, fresh, clean. I mean, the guy takes care of his stuff. I, I know him, he's my neighbor. So yeah, so this is wicked cool. I'm so happy to have a new um, Xbox 360. And I love the fact that it's the black one. Uh, I, I love the black consoles. I think they're, they're super sexy. Um, yeah, so I, I snagged that, and what's what's funny is, I don't know about anybody else, but when you like buy like a, a, a bundle, like a console with games kind of thing, most of the time you're like, I got all those games, or there's only one game in there I don't got, or that I care about, or something like that, and this is the rare occasion where I don't have any of these games, the games that I wanted, and well one title I have on the PS3 but I don't have it on 360 but all the other ones I don't have on any other console a couple might surprise you and yeah so let's let's go through the games here oh, before that it did come with the black controller and he had the white controller there so I got two more controllers to go with it and you know, they got all the hookups and stuff. I'm not going to do that. He did include this thing, which I never heard of this. Which I didn't think you needed one of these. Um, oh, I see what I, I get now. What is Okay, so this is a Xbox 360 wireless receiver for Windows. So you plug this in the USB and then this will pick up the wireless 360 controller, I guess. So, yeah, that's, that's cool. A little bonus. Um, yeah, and you got the plugs and all that stuff. I'm not going to pull that out. You know what a plug looks like. But the games. Alright. So. First one that I'm like, yes about. Um, I have the first one, but I don't have the second one. Is Star Wars Force Unleashed. Mmm. Yes. More Star Wars. Yes. The kid in me is like, yay. But yeah. This is awesome. Um, so it's complete. Even with a little hit book. And what's great is, you hear that? It's like it's hardly been even out of the case. It's like not even loose. It's amazing. It's like brand new. Um, 
Bloodstone 007. Anybody know anything about this game? Let me know down in the comments. Um, it's hard to tell from the back because it looks like mostly like cinematic shots. But is this a first person shooter or is it a third person? What's the deal there? But it's complete as well. Um, and again, man, it's a grand new. Um, yeah, believe it or not, I didn't have this game. And I had the second one. And I played it. And I'm like, I love it. I think it's a great game. But I've never beat it. I didn't play it for long because it's an open world game. And I have a love hate relationship with open world games. So. But I never played this, and it's the first one, and that's Red Dead Redemption. So this is the uh, like the Platinum Hits version, but it's complete along with the, the GameStop yellow uh, sleeve they always give you. <laughs> but yeah, that's cool. Um, believe it or not, I don't have this one. I have parts two, three, and, and stuff like that, but I don't have the first one on any console. And that's uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Eh, Call of Duty. You know, you played one Call of Duty, you played them all. I know there's going to be people out there who are going to lynch me for saying that. But, um, so, but I'm glad to have it. And I'll definitely give it a shot. And, you know, now I've got the, the whole series almost. I don't think i got the newest one. But, um, this one I'm excited about because of this. There's a lot of people rave about this uh, one, and I never played it, so this might be worth a shot to check out, and that's Fallout New Vegas. Again, this is uh, complete, and, ah, uh, oh, man, I, I, all the discs are like, other than the Red Dead, that was definitely a used one, they're all like brand new. Um, this one's a little... A little wrinkly, uh, that water damaged or something, uh, the inlay. But it's uh, Fallout 3. This is the one I have on PS3, but I got the 360 one now. So that was the only one that I kind of already had. This didn't have the book, but it's got both discs. But yeah, so Fallout 3 for the 360. So that's it, guys. Um, oh, and he also threw in what I'm sitting on this Sumo beanbag chair. Um, I'm going to sit in here in the room. It's taking up most of my game room because this thing is huge but it's wicked comfy. It's right in front of my CRT. So, I don't know. It'll be here for a while. I'm not sure if it's going to stay in this room. My kids might end up kidnapping it or something. But that's it, guys. Those are That's the mail call and uh, some of the pickups I wanted to highlight. So, until next time, guys, this is 8BigGlitch79 and I'm glitching out.